everyone, I'm Christopher and I hope this video finds you well and having a really great day. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, look no further my friend because this is the place for you. So click that little red subscribe button and join the community. And if you're going to hang out with me here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram and join me over there as well. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. I answer every single comment and question and I post over there daily. And it's a great way to have touch points throughout the week. But we're going to go ahead and start by talking about an online company that I really, really love and that is cloth and paper. Now most of you know if you've watched any of my Plan With Me videos that I really love Cessa V for their simplistic, modern, clean design. Cloth and paper is very similar in their aesthetic. The first thing I picked up from cloth and paper was their 2017 capsule inserts. What I really appreciate about it is it's a day per page, but I really like the layout. They have a mantra section on top, a to-do list on the left, an appointment section that runs from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., a memorandum page, and then a place for you to write your gratitude. For those that know me, know that it's important for me to have a place to write what I'm grateful for. So I was really excited to see a lot of things that I like on my pages to be included already on an insert. So I decided I had to pick it up. The other thing that I appreciate is they also have weekly capsules where you can write the highest leverage things for that week. So you really have a place to flag the things that are most important that are going on within that time frame. I just really like the insert. It's a really clean design and really simple. And I think these really fit my planning aesthetic. So I'm looking forward to diving into these and making them work in my day-to-day -day life. The next thing I picked up from Cloth & Paper was this set of dividers. And they're just very simple gray with gold embossed lettering and it says schedule, memos, goals, finance, ideas, miscellaneous. I think aesthetically they're very beautiful and simple. What I was disappointed to find out is that they're just cardboard. They're not laminated in any way. And I think for the price you are paying, I would have appreciated them to be laminated. At least the tabs to be backed with plastic so I knew that they'd be sturdy. Because by the time they arrived to me, they were already showing some signs of bending. So I love these. I'm going to use them, but I'm going to definitely laminate and cut mine out before I insert them into my planner. The next thing I picked up at Cloth and Paper that I'm really excited about are these marble post-its. They're beautiful white and gray marble, but what I really appreciate about them is the paper quality on this post-it. I've been using a set of these in my office, and I can tell you I've used a variety of pens and nothing bleeds through them. The other thing that I really like is the adhesive is actually on the long side, so I find that they lay a lot flatter and they don't have a tendency to curl up as some post-its do when the adhesive is along the top. So I'm really, really enjoying these. Lastly, from Cloth & Paper, I picked up a pen. You all know that I love gray and gold. So when I found this pen, I knew that I needed it. It is a beautiful gray and it does have some veining in it. And it's just this beautiful rollerball pen. And I have to say, this pen writes so smooth and so wonderfully. I already owned it in white and gold. It also comes in black and gold. So you can find a combo that fits your style. But these pens are very nicely weighted and they just are really comfortable in your hand. They also sell the refills of ink on cloth and paper. They're just great, great quality pens for a very reasonable price point. Next for a set of inserts that I found on Amazon that I am so excited to use and it is called the Clean It Up Bundle and it is designed by Natalie Rebecca. What I love about these is there's one page that's just dedicated to stain removal, a whole guide worth, and then zone cleaning. And then you have a daily clean sheet which are all the things you should be doing daily and you can check them off. Also, there are cleaning tips on each of the pages and a different cleaning tip for each day. Um, so the cleaning tip for this one is sprinkle your carpet or rugs with baking soda and let rest for 15 minutes before vacuuming. I am going to be trying that. And then lastly, there's the clean it up daily and on the back is your clean it up weekly. So the things that you need to do for the week. I am obsessed with these inserts and I cannot wait to use them on the daily and weekly basis. 
I am really, really excited about them. The quality of the paper is really high. The design is really clean and simple. And I'm just really, really thrilled with these inserts. I'm not going to talk a ton about stickers because I believe that stickers are super personal in your planning, but I will tell you that I really enjoy the Happy Planner stickers. You can buy these on Amazon. You can also pick them up at Michael's, but Happy Planner is doing something a little bit different that I'm really enjoying. They are now making really large packs of stickers. They even come with an elastic band to help keep them closed. But this pack has 427 stickers and you can buy them in different themes. This is the quotes theme and clearly it is full of quotes. They give you every size and shape sticker imaginable. But what I also enjoy that they do is they give you the correlating washi tape bands and they also give you the great stickers where you can write to-do lists or ideas or just quotes of your own. And then lastly, what I think these packs offer that not all sticker packs do offer is they also give you the sheets of the plastic stickers that have the clear background so that when you go over page borders or you're layering these on top of something, you can see through them still. And I just love the fact that this one pack of stickers offers you all those different options. And I also love for $15, I literally have 430 stickers and that's a sticker a day for a year and then some. So I really, really appreciate this. This is just a really great buy in my book. But if you don't want to splurge on that many stickers all at once, they do offer smaller packs within themes as well. So this is just a set of calendar stickers and this is the small collection of quotes. And a lot of them are similar, but I just think for the amount of money you pay for Happy Planner stickers, the quality is really, really there. While we're talking about things from Michaels, I need to talk to you about one thing that I love from the Recollection brand at Michaels. You can find it right in that big planner aisle that they have, and they are the magnetic page clips. If you have tried using these, you know how they oftentimes do not work past two pages. Anything over two pages, the magnet is not strong. These, my friends, have a much stronger magnet and can go through multiple pages. I have had really great luck with these and I simply, simply love them. And if you like the magnetic clips but get frustrated because they can't go through many pages, try these out and see if you like them because I really do enjoy them. While we are talking about the Recollection brand, I gotta talk to you about one more thing I found at Michael's because I was looking for one of those narrow pencil cases. So I was looking at Leatherology and I couldn't justify spending that amount of money for a pencil case. And then I stumbled upon this little guy in the Michael's aisle. It is a simple, narrow leather pencil case. Nothing fancy, right? I took it out of the package and on the back, it has an elastic band. So if you wanted to, you could use it to help close a notebook. But that's not all. It also has a pocket where you can insert stickers, slips of paper. So really it does three jobs in one and I'm super excited to start using this. Most of the time I will probably just toss it in my bag but you guys also know that I use my desk agenda and I like to bind that shut once in a while when I have important documents in it and I think this thing will be a great way to do triple duty in my bag so that I don't have so many bands floating around. Now you guys know that I love my Louis Vuitton agendas. I have the GM, I have the MM, I have the PM, I have the desk agenda. I love them all, but I've been using them for about five years and I just needed a change. So I recently bought that large yellow Kiki K. It was on my last plan with me video. I'll leave it linked down below. And I decided why not branch out and try some different agendas because you are loving this one so much. I've heard a lot of people talk about Filofax, so I started to dive in and see what they were all about. And I also knew that I wanted to find something that was really simple and really classic, but still had a little style to it. And that's when I stumbled upon this black patent leather A5 planner from Filofax. You can see the shine from it. And I was stunned by the quality. The leather is super thick. It is super luxurious and smooth. The sheen on this is just amazing, but the quality of the planner is just stunning. On the inside is a secretary pocket, as well as two little card pockets and an elastic band for inserting anything you need. This also came with inserts. I'm not wild about them, but I don't hate them either. They're just not my style. Um, I like something a little bit simpler and I don't like colored pages, 
but the quality of the actual planner itself is just phenomenal. On the back is another secretary pocket with little slips that you can slip post-its in. If you've not explored Filofax, I would tell you to buy one and when you get it in your hands, you can truly feel the quality of how this thing is made. I will leave links down below of the one that I purchased, but they have this in a patent nude, which is absolutely stunning and probably on my list. They also have a bright orange one that I have my eye on. I'm really excited to start using this. So I have my brown Louis Vuitton agendas. I got this new black patent one. I have the bright yellow Kiki K. Another color that I love is like a really vibrant Kelly green. So I was perusing Amazon just looking. I was really, really excited when I found this beautiful beautiful green A5 agenda. Now, I found it on Amazon and there were no pictures of the interior, but I loved the outside so much that I bought it. Then it got delivered and I opened it up and part of the lining was white with pink stripes. I was very upset, but I loved the outside so much that I began to think how I could fix it. So I bought some really high quality acrylic paint and I simply painted the area's charcoal where it was white and pink and it actually turned out really, really well. And by the time I fill it with papers, you'll barely be able to notice. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This ran about $35, I believe, and the quality of it is just okay. You, it is not even comparable to Filofax or the Kiki K and definitely not Louis Vuitton. So I think for entry level planning, this is a really great option. For me, this is a great option because sometimes I just wanna pop a color and I will toss it in my bag and I'm not gonna worry about it and I'm not gonna baby it. So I'm really excited to see how this works out. I will definitely be doing plan with me videos featuring this little guy and the phyllo so I can give you more opinions on them. So definitely stay tuned to those. That is the planner stuff that I have bought over the last week. If you like plan with me videos, definitely click subscribe because I will be filming videos featuring all of these things to give you more reviews and more details about them. If there's anything in this video you're interested in, don't worry, I will leave everything linked down below. If you have any questions about any of the products I talked about, just ask me. I answer every single comment on my channel. So I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.